Hey all, welcome to a new episode. Uh, sorry, I'm looking, not always looking in the camera in this one because uh, I'm driving on the road. Uh, yeah, I had to myself the idea that uh, I'm going to post the video showing you something uh, interesting that not many people know, uh, but some do, and for the outside of the EU uh, and some uh, EU countries it's likely unknown for many that uh, there are hidden uh, military and civil uh, backup air airstrips and I just wanted to show you one of them uh, this is uh, our country's most famous one because it's the most true and known uh, it's built uh, yeah, let me check the facts. But now for the part that's most boring, the number of the video. So yeah, uh, I double checked and it was built in the 60s by the Soviet Union that's now gone. But the airstrip is still, uh, uh, how do you say it in English, uh, it's uh, maintained, so it's a backup strip if the main airfield has some problems or it's getting bombed in the uh, case of a war, uh, we have a lot of them uh, all over the country, but the most famous one is the Biba uh, backup airstrip. Uh, there have been some uh, military airplanes uh, in the, from the Europa. Uh, oh, no, 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 it's not Europa. Uh, uh, what's the. Uh, we are in the EU. Uh, we have the. NATO! Yeah, some NATO planes have landed here. And I'll link the wiki page in the information uh, down the, below the video in the information uh, side. Uh, it's not, uh, I double checked, it's not located in the uh, airfield maps. Whoa. Uh, yeah, it's not located in the airfield maps. Uh, and it's not really set in, uh, on any. Uh, maps but it is in use so it's uh, the main purpose is for the military but in any case that the main airfield uh, gets uh, some kind of traffic or heavy uh, lifting then they will use it uh, for the people uh, in my country what we use it is for the intended use that we drive on it uh, it's 2.5 kilometers long, it has a pre-set distance around uh, maybe 2 kilometers and afterwards 2 kilometers on, so it's all over 5 kilometers in length. And what we, as a young generation, uh, I'm not anymore young, but uh, in my days what we used it for was street racing. Yeah, you heard it right. Uh, and my best experience uh, in that field was when, yeah, the police came up and we all got arrested. It was like in GTA, uh, uh, choppers and everything. If I remember correctly, we had two choppers and like 20 police cars that stopped all of us and we got uh, fine for doing uh, illegal street racing, but hey, it's a strip in nowhere, so who cares in the middle of the night? But yeah, uh, laws are laws, so we had to obey and pay the fine. But to this day, people use it as a street racing uh, adventures. And for myself, if I get a new car, I can't believe it. I'm not going to say it that I'm breaking the law, but it's nice. So, 
uh, I take a small detour and show you this uh, strip. See you in a couple of seconds. So we are starting to arrive at the uh, backup uh, airfield. As you can see here, here is the road uh, as usual, nothing much. But in uh, you can see already the trees and there it starts. You can see the ro uh, road will go wider and wider. And three, two, one. Welcome to the backup airfield. As you can see, the road is quite nice and. So this is the backup airfield and uh, the main use is yeah military. Uh, I'll have a pit stop here so you can see. I'm not going to drive to the end because uh, there's no real use. But yeah, here we did some uh, crazy stuff. As you can imagine how fun it is here to do some, let's say, street racing. But I'm try to zoom if I can so you can see it's quite long and yeah oh, come go back go back to zero or not oh, come on go back to zero please yeah now it's back to zero so, uh, this is the backup airfield, uh, it's not mentioned in, on any uh, maps, but in reality we have them, and this is the most famous one, but for the hikers among you, if you ever come to Estonia, uh, take uh, around uh, two months and uh, I linked the uh, official site for the uh, government's uh, uh, program where uh, you can hike around our country. The longest hike route is around 900 kilometers. It will take you around two months to complete it and you will see a lot of military stuff on the way. Uh, the funnest part uh, is where we have no, this is not on the route, but uh, we have tall buildings where, uh, how do you say, it? they are uh, made by... In 600 meters, turn right. Uh, made by the uh, government of the... Uh, Soviet Union, and those are built uh, for military purposes. They are small bunkers inside that whole building, so if they dim uh, uh, right. those buildings, they can uh, get uh, shooting uh, bunkers from them. So this is uh, one fun uh, thing that we have here. But yeah, there is a lot of military stuff around our country. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, Submarine bases that are le forgotten. Uh, submarine uh, demagnetization bases. Uh, those are used uh, so that uh, the mines don't uh, hit the submarine or something like that. But yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff. And for me, uh, I haven't posted in the two, last two weeks because I'm really, really busy because in the new month I'm going to get a new job and uh, yeah I'm uh, preparing for that and even if I have a lot of videos prepared I, uh, I'm really not able to compile them because time 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 I just don't have any time so sorry on that part and uh, hopefully I get uh, around this on the next week when I get uh, in 500 meters, stuff. turn right. So, till next time, and be safe and have a nice uh, not spring but uh, autumn. So, 
See you! And you're welcome to Estonia! Bye-bye!